All right, people, welcome to part one of the telethon. So this is going to be a three-parter. You're going to get one each day, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, to prepare me for the upcoming regionals, the Utah regionals that I'm going to this weekend. So I'm pretty much going to be testing out the Teller Knight deck, testing out the consistency, uh, and uh, pretty much just preparing, pretty much. So uh, if you guys haven't seen already, the deck profile is actually in the episode. The duels link will be in the description. Go ahead and click that. Go to the end of the video. There's the deck profile of what it is. So right now, and if we make any changes, then I can go ahead and update the deck in you know the video. Uh, so if you guys have any like suggestions or tips or anything along those lines, uh, you guys can go ahead and tell me in the uh, in the comment section below, and that would be awesome. Ah. Uh. I really don't want to allow him to do that, but it says target when face up on face up card. I don't have any face up cards, so I'll allow him to have it. I'll allow him to have it. So we're doing against Mermels. Mermels. I wonder if there's going to be any Mermels. Didn't open up too well. Just two Altairs, and I'm like, if I had a little bit of Deneb with it. All right. So he's going to get Marksman. This is uh, this is uh, TCG. I did host TCG only, so we don't have to worry about anything like Neptibus. So. Uh, you know, it's not like I have to worry. I mean, I shouldn't have to worry about anything OCG at the regionals, right? So I was just like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, do uh, TCG only. You know, a ton of people enter and then leave the room because they probably want to use something OCG. But I'm like, no, 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 TCG only. Ah, I did not open up that well. But hopefully, like usual, hopefully I can stall out with uh, some back row. Yeah, I got these mirror forces, so. I'm done. Go ahead and kill her. I don't care. Summon your Meglo or whatever. Actually, you'll probably summon another Pike. Now nah, I think about it. You gonna summon another Pike? So, oh no, here I, I thought you were gonna go ahead and summon the Pike, but no, you you want the Megalo. You want the damage. Go ahead. Go right ahead, sir. I said I did not open up well enough at all. Alright, gonna go ahead and salvage them too bad. That's fine. You gonna go ahead and summon her? Summon the Lin? Alright, gonna go ahead and summon Tius. That's fine. Go ahead and chain you up. And now I'm not set anymore. There we go. You guys like how that is? That out, now you don't get your search. I know how Mermel's work. You're gonna like, see into like a Draco sack or something, or you're just gonna leave it alone? And I said, I just, I need like, I need to start drawing some monsters. A Biscay also. I said, you're gonna go into like a Biscay or something? I'm gonna force the shit out of you. Get off my field. If this is what I have to do, if I, you know, hopefully I draw better at the regionals. Like I said Yu-Gi-Oh is so based on luck. That even me using one of the most consistent decks in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's still, still kind of based on luck. Hmm. No. Like I said I could, I could summon the, the Altair, but I'll, I'm gonna take a slow for right now. Another abyss here. Okay. I'm gonna normal summon him, kill her, and then she'll die during the end phase. And then you only get one, so. So you only get her effect once per turn, only once that turn, so. If you wanna go ahead and do that, see, because it snaps to me like in the main phase one, so. That's fine. So, she'll die, and you won't get anything. Probably shouldn't activate anything and just go for the attack because I have, might have a Nova, which I do have the Nova, but you don't know I have the Nova. So, what's up? And it just sucks that Altair can't summon Altair. I get two Altairs and they just can't do anything with each other. I'm gonna mirror force you again. I'd like to keep the Altair on the field. I'm pretty much just gonna play the Pokey game until you activate something and then I can go ahead and if I feel like it, let's play the Nova. So, let's go ahead and mirror force you again. 
I said, don't attack me. Don't. You know, I'm running on says and the mirror force. I said, don't attack me. You're going to book a moon yourself? That's fine. You're going to use your book of moon. Okay. You can have that done when I'm not at. Oh, call the haunted. Nice. All right. I'm going to go ahead and summon the Altair. Go into the wobble chain. Activate the wobble chain. Send one card from my deck to Rayguard. I'll go ahead and send it to Neb. Then I can call the haunted and do that play next turn. I'm not going to do it this turn. I'm okay right now. Yeah, I'm okay right now. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to activate the Call of the Haunted, but... Okay. Is it just in case he went for anything else? It's fine. Kill my level of chain, I don't care. It served its purpose. Say I'm holding the A button. I'd like to do something. Let's make call the haunted. Send me back Altair. Altair. Send me back to Neb. The Neb search. There we go. Now I'm in this duel. Now we're cooking with fire. Didn't I put Vega up to two? I could have swore I put Vega up to two. Maybe I didn't save it. Yeah, I thought I put Vega up to two. <sighs> Excuse me. I swore I did. Alright, got a chair. I'll go ahead and summon Vega. Go ahead, try to hit me with something. I got the fucking Nova right here. No? Okay. Alright. Triv. Oh, it was never on the field! Son of a bitch. Alright. I was like, how come I couldn't over that? Because I didn't have it on the field. Alright, I'm going to target you and you, and you're going to get summoned too. I don't have... If I if I had one more warrior, I could have went for what's his name, but... Then I'm going to target you and you. Because you can summon the map, because I haven't activated your effect this turn. Like, hell no. We're just gonna have a number generator off, I see. Like, oh, I can just Nova whatever it is. Like, nope. If it was, it was, if it was something else, if it wasn't fucking warning, I could have Nova'd it. But nope. So, I said, I'm going into Triv. Oh, that sucks. I was like, ah, oh, I want to Nova so bad. <laughs> just gotta stay in control of the duel. Don't take it too fast, don't take it too slow, just stay in control. You know, especially with the Mormels doing big costs. Wow, you're not gonna set anything or anything? Set, at least set a monster or something. Because I'm just gonna keep tripping shit out of your hand. Like that, see, that's the, that's the conundrum that you're facing right now. Oh, you're running Metal or Darkness, but you didn't have you don't have any Genix controllers. The, the, the number generator is against you this time, sir. So. I can take the flash. I should have set the Mirror Force, but it's cool. Yeah, I should have set the Mirror Force. Protect my trove. One more turn. Oh, now you got the Soul Charge. So, so this is an interesting number generation duel. Oh, for that. Yes, I would love to activate Trevor Effect to go ahead and summon a Telenite monster from my graveyard. You, activate you, you summon you even though I'm missing a Vega. Yeah, because if I could have searched for my Vega, I went Vega, Altair, Gnab, and then I could have exceeded into uh, number 86 with all five materials. Draw my opponent's cards to control, which right now he doesn't control any. Alright, Aqua Spirit. That's fine. Yeah, 
just want to kill my Dinab, that's fine. I've got an upstart, so hopefully I can go ahead and use that to draw into uh into Scepter. New Scepter. Look at me. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into like Deltaros. Now, nah, Triv would still be better. Because if Triv dies, then I get to go ahead and summon a Telite Monster from my graveyard. So actually, Triv is still better than going into Deltaros right now. Actually, I'm out of Trivs. Yep, I'm out of Trivs. I only run two. So, yep, I guess Deltaros it is. Could go for you, but. Could call the Haunted something and go for you. Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that. This duel's pretty much over anyway. I won. So, you cannot normal summon or special summon. Very powerful. It's a very powerful effect if you can pull it off. Alright, uh, that's the first duel one, so let me go ahead and fix it, put Vega back at 2, because I guess I didn't save it after I did the deck profile. So, beer back. Alright. Another duel. So, I did, I fixed the Vega, Vega's now at 2. Uh, this hand's not terrible. I got the Rota to go ahead and search for the Deneb. Uh, when it comes to the Scepter, I would like to get a chair first. Before I use the stick, I would like a chair. A bottomless and solemn morning. Okay, well, that that will just get me set up for next turn. Because I have two, so. Actually, I should have set the back row first. I should have set the back row first. Always set the back row first before you search, because mine crush. My bad. My bad. Always set the back row first now. Unless that's an 11 one catastrophe, in which case, then slap me in the face. <laughs> you want to stop my scepter? Alright. That's fine. I'm only going to have fairies right for right now anyway. It's just, I, you know, I can't exceed. Oh, interesting. So I can only summon fairies right now. Sucks that they're not warriors. No, that's fine. The sending of the monster zombie from your hand is the cost, unless you're doing the length and send a grave. I'm not sure. You're gonna send. You're gonna send Mizuki. Mizuki, bring back your your Unis, your Yuna zombie and then synchro. So, no. Sending the Mizuki is obvious. Send Mizuki. Revive that. Go into like a Beals or something because this will go up to level four. And then rinse and repeat. So, no, thank you. Because then this will be sent to the graveyard. So then you can go ahead and and search for another unit zombie and continue your plays. I know it's what she's doing. Yes. Yes. Just gonna draw a whole bunch. I said it really does suck that I can't uh go and date in my XCs. Special summon this card. Did I only get the effect once per turn? This card is you can enter. No, let's see how this works. Let's see if I miss timing. This happened to draw into another scepter. Okay, I missed. I didn't get this one. Okay, that's informative, to say the least. 
So it really does suck that I can't XC into Deltaros or anybody as long as this card's on the field. So I guess I'll just beat you down pretty much. That's, that's the gist right now. Beat the shit out of you. If I can't XC, then fine, I'll beat you to death. Sound like Piccolo. <laughs> I'll beat you to death. <laughs> That, so that, definitely up on resources. Hope you got like a Regeki or something. Dragon's Mirror. So you're gonna summon that one zombie dragon guy, right? Banishing those two? That's fine. That you got something to protect him? No, just get the fuck out of my face. Like, no. Alright. Alright, we get another duel in. Be right back. Alright. Seems like the deck is working fine for right now. This opening hand is totally fine. Who's going first? Me? Alright. Got some them. Damn, search me for Altair. Ten's not bad. Go ahead and activate Upstart. Oh, and the Vega too. Nice. So, I got a Triv next turn at least. As long as he doesn't play anything to stop me, got the Triv. So, you gonna kill my Deneb or you gonna. Either you kill my Deneb and I start going off with my plays, or you don't kill my Deneb. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna chain that up. Because I'm planning on going to a Triv next turn. So, how about you don't sign? Stopping the Mathematician, you know, and like Burning Abyss or, Sh or Shadals is totally justified. Go ahead and just. How about no? You don't need your effect. No. In my opinion, totally justified. Menu. Going to Triv. Triv, put everything back. And then I'll go ahead and pick something out of your hand. Gorse. Nice. 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 Whew. You gotta admit, that was a good pick out. I'm not sure if I should go into Diamond or not. I'm not sure. I still don't know what kind of deck I'm facing, so I'll leave it alone for right now. And try some Mathematician again? I'm a Fiendish Chain his ass again. One for one. Oh, it's some kind of Synchro deck. Okay. That's fun. You're gonna get rid of Cobalt, summon Tuning Lair. Okay, I bet you're gonna summon like uh something else. No. <laughs> like no. All oh, right, you could summon Cobalt anyway. I forgot you could do that. Oops, my bad. Totally forgot you could summon it anyway. Go and talk to Goyo Guardian, draw a card, kill my Triv. If I let you kill my Triv. Actually, I'm honest. I'll probably honest you. Honestly. Honestly, if you try to come at me with Goyo Guardian, I will honest you. Oh, okay. So now you're going to go under five. Ah, okay. Clever girl you are. And I don't get my effect. That was clever. See, and this is this is one of the reasons why I hate uh hate dueling on here. It's cuz the number generator affects the duel so much. Like one for one, foolish, or gacky, all of these cards, bottomless warning, there's a ton of these cards affecting the duel. Yeah. 
Probably going to another triv. Oh yeah, now since I especially since I drew the other denial. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go into another triv. Go into another triv. Go into another triv. I might run three trips. Triv is just so fucking good. Like I don't think Triv should be at three. <laughs> Triv is kinda dumb. Being able to just keep doing that. Alright. Give me something. You don't need that low eater. Actually, you probably want that in the graveyard anyway. Kinda wanted to get that mathematician. Still haven't grabbed that mathematician. Like I said, between this chaining that mathematician, there is no complaints with that. Like Synchro decks. I'm your worst. Triv is your worst enemy. You overcommit with your synchro limits just when you go into a triv. And you're not running any back row either? I forgot that uh, Quibble can summon itself. I wouldn't even stop the summon. That was totally my bad. I misplayed, but. Then I dragged in that play that he did and went to the Armades. That, that caught me off guard like hella. Not position again. Look, no. Um, no. I don't want you to send anymore. Like, it's not that difficult. No. No mathematician. <laughs> you suck, Clevron. Like, hey, just playing the game. No. Uh, we have time for one more duel? Yeah, one more duel. Be right back. Alright. Last duel of part one. Let me go first. Yeah, that's actually kind of bad. Yeah, you know what? I'll summon the Vega. Because I have Nova, and I have Mirror Force, and I have Honest. So, I can literally fuck you up. So if you try to, so if you play something, then I can Nova you. If you play something I don't want you to play, I can Nova you. And if you try to come after me, I can Honest or Mirror Force. That's fine. Summon Goblin Berg. That's fine. Goblin Berg, summon Shadow Mist. Yep. Shadow Mist. Get your card. I don't care. I got Mirror Force. Don't, I can't play my Honest once he summons Darkwall, though. And he is going to summon Darkwall, which is fine. Which is odd, because now you won't get your search. And Mirror Force. Yeah, this the Talon Knights is one of Hero's weakest is one of Hero's weaknesses. Because we play so much back row that you overextend your play with your Dark Lords and I got the answers for it, so. So if I had to sit here and beat you with a Vega, I'll do it. <laughs> I am totally not afraid to go ahead and beat the shit out of you with a Vega. Nah, that's fine. Pay half your life points to go ahead and summon Dark Law? Fine. I mean, Shadow Mist? Sure. Shadow Mist, go ahead and search you for a mass change again? Sure. I don't care. Why are you going to run right into this Mirror Force again? <laughs> oh my god, if you do. You can change if you want to. Okay, that's fine. Chain resolves backwards, so... So you're gonna go ahead and summon out your 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 dark wall, and then he's gonna get mirror forced. Ooh, you're just gonna summon him defense. I see you. I see you. That was smart. That's smart. I'll give you that. Cast tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna cast tell you. Hope your back row is not something to stop me. It is, definitely is. Damn, damn. And I can't attack. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm in deep shit now. I'm in deep shit now. And he's gonna kill me, and all my shit's gonna get banished. Fuck! Ok, 
God fucking damn it. Fucking call the hauntings and my novas are fucking useless. Just fucking useless. Yeah, I lose. I didn't... That caught me off guard with the fiendish chain. And I didn't open up well enough to be dueling this duel right now. If only I had another mirror force. Fuck. How much is this going to get banished? God, Darkwell, you're an asshole. You are a serious asshole. Let me draw. Not that. That would have been useful. I couldn't even. I can't even play honest, actually. Yeah, I can't even play honest. Yeah, you got it. You got it. God damn it! Ah, fucking dark law. Like wow. Just banishing all my shit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call that for part one. So, if I if this is a match and I would side. What would I side into? Uh, probably the Shadow Imprisoning. Oh, and Defusion. Yep, Shadow Imprisoning and Defusion. In which case, if I defuse you, uh, you wouldn't even get your Shadow Mist back. Yep, Shadow Imprisoning and Defusion. Because fuck you, Dark Wall. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call that for part one. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this tele telethon. It's like telethon, except telethon. I, I think that's cute. I think that's fucking cute. You guys are like, oh, yeah, I'm even screwing Daniel. It's not even funny. Like, I think it's sweaty. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys have, like, any suggestions along those lines, like I said, the deck profile is in, uh, that episode of Daily Duel's link in the description. Go to the end of the video. There's the deck profile. And if you guys want to go ahead and experiment or try things out, make suggestions, go ahead. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to seeing you guys in part two. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, or part one of the Talk Time. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with part two.